guys didn't have these in primary school and you guys didn't eat these. You guys had a bad childhood. I feel bad for you. The sweet ones. Hi. Ta da! I really want to try to do a smoky eye. I haven't done one of those in a really long time. And I really just want to do it because I can and I want to. Am I wearing my boyfriend's shirt? Yes, I am. Do I look like a mess? Yes, I do. Does my room look bad? Yes, it does. Do I care? No. So, let's look at some inspiration on the internet. And as for me, guys, that song has been stuck in my head the whole day. I'm telling you. Honestly, it doesn't look too difficult. You see, things like this would make me look like a raccoon. So we're not doing that. You know what, we're just gonna go for it. Life is too short. Also, I'm just stuck in lockdown, so there's nothing more interesting to do anyways. But here we are. I'm gonna prime using the Fix and Protect by Rimmel London. Oh, let me be a beauty guru. Wait, it's like <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna take it on this container lid because I'm just like that, so. Gloria, oh jeez. The L'Oreal Age Perfect Anti-Aging Radiant Foundation. I'm joking, I'm just being irritating on purpose. Foundation. Put it in, put it in, put it on my face. I do this all the time, this is how I put my foundation on. Beautiful. We just love to see it. You know what I realized the other day? This lockdown isn't really bothering me that much because I'm quite an introverted person. So I usually just stay at home. So I realized that this for me isn't much of a big deal. But I see other people are like not handling it well. And honestly, I just can't relate because I literally just stay at home all the time. So for me, this is like another... It's like another month at home. So... That sounded so sad, but it's the truth. I'm not even gonna lie. <sighs> That's done. Now I'm gonna take concealer. So guys, honestly, I've been a bit in my feels lately. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I just came to the realization that people are just fake. Now you... People are fake, I'm not even gonna lie, people are just so fake in every aspect of the word. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer in medium peach and I'm about to look really mad and crazy so please just ignore me, thank you. the past few days is that it's not my job to care about everyone else i know that sounds so rude but i feel like in the past i've just cared so much about people and i've really just put them as priority when none of these people would even speak to me that is so deep but it's the truth so like i just want to say i know we're getting deep but i just want to say that if you have friends where you are constantly the person that needs to check up on them and you constantly need to keep up with them, they are not good friends. Those are not what friends are supposed to do. And you know what? It just comes to my attention that I do that a lot. And I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm begging people to be my friends. And I shouldn't be doing that because I'm a really good person and I need to appreciate those who are actually who actually wants to be friends with me, who actually are interested in my life, who are actually interested in what I'm doing. And honestly, as of recently, like, I have, like, two best friends, Kliswa and Tristan, I don't know if they're watching this, but honestly, they really changed my perspective on what friends should be like, and it's so sad that I've only realised it now, and it took me so long to realise that, you know? And, yeah... I don't know, I just came to that realization. Because honestly, I've always been a very independent person. So I've always depended on myself for a lot of things. I've always been the person to be like, you know what, I don't need this person to make me happy. 
I don't need this person to do this for me. But you know, sometimes it's good to have people to depend on because sometimes you need it. Um, I also realized that when I started dating Anwar, because for me it was very weird to have like someone in my space all the time. And then when I started dating Anwar and like there was someone in my space, I was just like, oh, okay. Like it's good to have people who actually care about you. And I know that sounds mean, but honestly, I feel like in the past, I've just been friends with these people who just haven't really cared for me. And that's just the fact. Like, I'm not going to pretend. I need to stop hating myself for not being the best friend when these people aren't being best friends with me. And honestly, I think lockdown has been a good moment for me because it's made me realize a lot of things. You know, if there's anyone watching that's feeling the same... I hope I'm not alone in that, but actually I do hope I'm alone in that. I hope you guys have good friends and I hope that you guys have friends that are listening to what you have to say. Because it's so important. It's so important to have people who care about you. See, I ain't looking that cute today. I'm not feeling very cute. I don't know if you guys could tell. I'm having kind of an off day, but I really just wanted to film. I think like YouTube is just like my outlet. So here I am. I forgot to put concealer on all the other places my face i'm gonna take this palette it's gonna contour my face eyebrow gel in brown well guys i used to hate my birthmark so much like i feel like in kindergarten people just used to ask me all the time like why is it on my face you know i once had a person ask me to put a plaster on it and i was like no mm -mm. But honestly, I started embracing it, and now I like actually, I actually forget that it's on my face. So, life isn't it so funny? Like one, how one of my biggest insecurities like actually turned into something I love. Like sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, guys, it gets a bit lonely. And I know everyone might be like, "Oh my gosh, like why are you lonely? Like you in a relationship?" But I don't think people understand. Like sometimes it gets difficult because we we are both different people. Like, for example, my boyfriend is very, I don't know how to explain. Like, he's introverted, but he's social. Like, I'm more introverted. Like, I don't really like going out that much. I'm kind of just, I kind of just keep to myself. And, I don't know. Sometimes, I think I'm a bit too independent. And I kind of need to change that. But I think I've just been hurt so many times in the past that... Just being independent for me has just been my, it's been my thing to just be like, you know. There are definitely times where I can't do everything by myself, but I pretend like I can. Because to me, that's just like, for me, it's like scary to, to depend on people and be like, yo, like this is what's happening in my life. Like, I need help. I don't know. Like, is that just me? I don't know. Like, am I the only one that's like this? Like, I'm so... I'm so used to just being the only one that cares about me in like a lot of situations. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but it's just how I feel. Really, it's how I feel. And honestly, now when you're in lockdown and you have like nowhere to go and like no one to see, you just realize like I need to change this. I just need to, I need to have a boundary of like where I end it. You know what I mean? But it's the real, it's the year of realizing that we have more to be thankful for, I think, to be honest. Because honestly, I think we took things for granted when we had everything just given to us and we just had everything there. And you know what, guys? You know what? I realized that we need to be so grateful because I was thinking about all those people who have, like, who have broken homes and had broken families and now they're just stuck. Like, what do you do? 
because you can't leave your house you can't you can't go anywhere and also people who, who don't have cars or people who don't have good relationships with their parents like we just need to be very thankful especially i need to be more thankful like i realized during this lockdown i need to be more thankful for those that are around me and definitely the things that i have because i often focus on the things i don't have when i actually have a lot i need to be very thankful for it and i hope you guys are being thankful too because that really came to my realization the other day i was like whoa i'm just very grateful for everything that i have now i'm gonna take this color called welcome in this palette and i just forgot that i didn't do my other eye Ooh. i'm just gonna brush it all over the lid okay now i have two palettes i have this one by profusion and i have this one it has a lot of more smoky options so i might just use this one a lot today and then i'm gonna use a little bit of this one i'm gonna take oh take this color over here take it here in my crease guys it's beyonce and jay-z's 12 year anniversary today and i'm just I'm so happy for them. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh. Um, that was not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. But we move. Guys, the other day I had someone DM me. Like this really pretty girl. She actually knows my friend Michali. Michali, please go. You are the bomb. Please go check out her channel. I'll link it down below. Um, But she DM me and she was like, Oh my gosh, like I love your videos, you seem like such a good person. And I was just like, you see, these are the people we need in life. Like honestly, shout out to you girl, you are so cute. You are so, so cute. I'm actually going to link her Instagram down below so you can go follow her because she's so cute and she's so pretty. <music> matric is not a game. Whoever said matric was easy, you guys lied. When they were like, matric is going to be revision, they lied. Like, they straight up lights my face. I don't appreciate it. Uh -uh. Mm. I don't like that. Why did I do that? Oh. I just feel like it doesn't look... It doesn't look the same colors. The other eye looks so much better. Why? <laughs> I kind of do like a halo effect today. I feel like mm, I'm looking like I've been hit in the face. It's gonna be fine. This is really not looking cute. I'm really. <laughs> this is really. This is really, really not looking cute. But you know what? I wanted to try it. So, you know what? It's fine. We're trying things. It's lockdown time. It's time to experience and try new things, right? Right? Please say yes because I'm trying really hard to convince myself right now. Am I supposed to look like this now? Am I supposed to look like I've been hit in the eye? I don't think this is how it's supposed to look. But it's how we look, so... Ooh. Mm. I don't like this eye look at all. <laughs> looks so bad okay two thousand years later did my hair I put some earrings on I changed my shirt I'm just trying to make myself feel a little bit more cute I'm looking a bit crazy Thank you guys so much for watching so my camera stopped recording my voice obviously because i think it was tired of me so thank you guys for watching please make sure you put the notifications on and comment what you would like to see next uh lots of love see you soon bye Hi.
Nice. Okay, I want to cut you out of my life. That's what I want to do. I got some spinach. Some spinach. Yeah, I got some spinach. Mm -hmm. Ready to disturb. Oh, oh, oh.